I decide I just interrupt this little vlog with a little story time. So today I had a childhood friend and I guess, you know, yeah, I guess I say childhood friend tell me that I belong to the streets. Like I belong to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Type of shit. Like, so long story short, um, I like we were we were all out or whatever the case may be, and everybody was taking shots, we all get drunk, right? So I end up hooking up with this guy. Now I knew that he probably had like some type of crush on me, but whatever the case may be, I end up hooking up with him. Hooking up with him does not mean have sex with him. I did not sleep with this man. I didn't do none of that. I, you know, I just hooked up with him. So the next day I wake up and I'm like disgusted. Like I'm like, ew, like, ew, like I made out with him, like, so I was disgusted with myself. So I'm trying to act like it didn't happen. So like the next day we all wake up or whatever and you know, he's like, hey, yay, like, good morning. Like, so I'm like, good morning. Like, I tell everybody good morning. But, you know, I'm trying to keep my distance because I'm like, ew, like, ew. So anyways, um, <laughs> so anyways, he's all like, come here. Like, yo, like, come here. So I'm like, no, like, I'm about to go get dressed. Like, I'm about to, you know, get ready because we was all going out. Like, we was all about to go get something to eat, whatever the case may be. So... I just let that slide like and for the rest of the day because like we only had like one more day left because we were all staying in the same place so for the rest of the day I just kind of like was like avoiding him because I'm like I don't want you to think that this is something that's not long story short we all go home and then um he hits me up like a few days later like I didn't act different like I wasn't trying to like play him out nothing like that like when he left I was like let me know when y'all get home safe like I do with all my friends like I just was like Ugh. you know so I was keeping my distance for a little bit so I got over the fact that that happened so, um, you know, I was talking to him in between, like we were talking about stuff and, um, long story short, like he ends up hitting me up and mind you, he, he's telling everybody, Oh, he was so drunk. Cause he was wilding. So like he was wilding at night. He's telling everybody, Oh, I was so drunk. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. So I'm like, well, maybe just maybe he don't remember. Like we hooked up. So he ends up hitting me up. He's like, hey, I just want to apologize about what happened the other night. Like, I didn't, you know, mean to, like, offend you in any type of way. And I guess my cousin told him that he hit me, but he didn't put his hands on me because my guy cousins don't play that. Like, it would have been paused laid on you immediately. Like, they don't play that. And one of my guy cousins was there. Like, so I'm like, oh, believe me when I tell you, you did not put your hands on me. Like, my cousins don't play that. So, um, especially not with them there. They really don't play that. But... You know, I just was like, you know what, it happened. Um, you know, I'm trying just not to think about it. And I just told him, I was like, listen, I just want to be upfront and honest with you. Like, this isn't going to go anywhere. I don't want you to think that, like, we're going to, like, be something or this is going to be anything because it's not. Like, I don't like you like that. Like, I was drunk. And it really honestly should have never happened. Thank God nothing happened and it went any further. Like, it was just a dub for the night. And, like, I was just like, you know what, like, we're still going to be friends. But I just want you to know, like, we're not going to progress in any way, that way, shape, or form. So he's like oh yeah that's cool that's cool or whatever the case may be I keep on saying whatever the case may be but that was the case so he's like that's cool I don't feel no type of way we on the same type time but then at the same time was kind of just like yeah you know we probably wouldn't have worked out like we just two different people you know ah uh, yeah it was like real weird like there's nothing else for us to really talk about like we're now coming to a mutual understanding it's not moving any forward uh any like it's not going forward so like he will post stuff online or and like say stuff and like I would just comment like make little jokes stuff like that so he posted this one thing I don't know if any of y'all seen it where like Tory Lanez is basically like he don't really deal with gold diggers he not buying them bags and all this other stuff well he posted this part of the clip where like apparently like this one girl that Tory Lanez went to be with um seen he had a Ferrari and he got the hit so he was like yeah that's all girls care about yada 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 so he's like that's all they care about so I was like who is they sir like with a question mark like I'm being sarcastic because I'm always sarcastic and like goofy and like funny with my friends and he's like you gave me street vibes so I'm thinking I know exactly what he's talking about but I'm like what are street vibes and I was like and then explain and elaborate so he sends me a voice note and he's like oh yeah you just seem like you're real materialistic like you want a man to basically do whatever you say and like you know you seem like you know you're from for the streets 
Now, mind you, this man don't really know nothing about me. Because, like, we're childhood friends, but we recently rekindled a friendship. So, I'm like, nigga, you hung out with me twice since, like, us rekindling this friendship. So, how do I give you any type of vibes to begin with? Number two, I can't give you street vibes because I'm not out here just bopping around from dude to dude. I'm far from materialistic. I don't be out here, you know, posting, like, YSL, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. And if I did and I paid for it and I worked hard for it, well, so be it. Like, I paid for it. That's, you know, these are the products I have. But, like, everything I worked hard for, I got myself. Like, I, you know, I come from a family that really doesn't come from much. So, I'm just like, I don't know where you got materialistic from. And I'm just like, okay. So, I'm like, all right, like, bulls trying to come at me he's like you don't have to agree with it but like you know that's just the way I feel and I was like no I just feel like honestly truly like you're mad you're big mad that I told you that I didn't want to be with you like you're a big mad that I said that this was not that and I feel like this is where all of your anger is stemming from and I was like if you honestly felt some type of way about it you really could have just talked to me I'm a very open and honest person like I try to be honest with my friends open with my friends so I'm like we could have spoke about it you know and maybe I could have helped you feel a little bit better about yourself but for you to tell me that like I you think that I belong to the streets like boy if you don't get so then he switches up his story he's like oh you know girls only want to be with me like when i used to be flashy da -da. and all he talks about and brags about is him having money and what he has and he's able to buy this and he's able to buy that i feel like what your problem was is that you wanted me to be one of them girls it's like oh my god he has money and like i want to be with him like no i don't want to be with you i do not care if you have money because money does not equate to happiness and i'd rather be with a man who is a hard worker and have an honest job with an honest living then be with somebody who has a whole bunch of money and they treat me like trash like that don't mean you know you're a qual more quality than like the the other guy because you have money because you could be with a guy that has money and he cheats on you and treats you like trash where you could be just with a guy you know has a regular job and he treats you like a queen and i'd much rather be with him than somebody that tries to buy me so he's like oh i'm not mad i'm not mad at all that you didn't want to be with me da, da, da. but obviously sir you are mad then he switches up his story and he's like you're a mad chill person you're pretty um you know i just feel like i was like where'd you get materialistic from he's like i was like and at the end of the day sorry i'm jumping around but i was like at the end of the day like i i don't understand so he was mad that i said that he was mad about um me basically saying i didn't want to be with him he's like oh uh, you're letting it get to your head like don't get me wrong like you are fine but like I've had fine women before and da, 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 da. I said what does this have to do with our conversation like we're talking about Tory Lanez and him talking about gold diggers and like I was basically making a joke because like I'm like all right don't categorize all of us like not all women are like that it's just the women you're with that's not like that then he's like oh yeah I'm looking for a better caliber of women like you know somebody who's educated somebody who has a boss boss basically a boss bitch mindset somebody you know who's business oriented you know like and that's just the type of person that I'm trying to be within basically telling me like you're not that so I'm like first of all you don't know nothing about my education you like I mean like you don't know you don't even know if I went to college didn't go to college um you don't know anything about my business mindset because you don't even know where I stand with that like you don't know much about me you only hung out with me twice since meeting me since we were 10 then he's like oh i'm not the same guy you knew back in the day well i would hope not you were 10 like you know what i'm saying like what are you even talking about right now so i'm saying i was just like listen like i'm not even about to argue with you obviously you're butthurt that i told you i didn't want to be with you nobody ever told you that you didn't be with no fine women i'm not about to go back and forth with you there's beautiful women everywhere i would hope that you were with a beautiful woman at some point in time but i was just like this had nothing to do with our conversation like you're going into women this and women that and flashy like not one time have you ever flashed or talked about money and I was like oh yeah <laughs> let me be with him like boy get like at the end of the day you're just mad that I didn't want to be with you and like just own that like don't try to bring me down and talk about some I want somebody that's different caliber like meanwhile you're dating girls who are stealing your chain so like if you're talking about that your caliber of woman then you're absolutely right I'm not your caliber of woman like you talk about broke women, women with business mindset, but the girls you be falling in love with is still in your chains? Okay. Like, I was just saying, I'm like, yo, you're really big mad right now, and that's fine. But 
honestly don't try to like bring somebody else down because you're feeling some type of way because you're switching your story first i'm cool i'm chill no no first i'm you know for the streets now i'm cool i'm chill it's not even like that now you know like no boy like you switching up because you feel some type of way and i just feel like i'm good off of you like and i don't have nothing to say he said he's sending me voice notes but i stopped responding because i'm like there's nothing for us to talk about like you're just mad i don't want to be with you and that's really what it boils down to but i feel like it's corny for a man to treat a woman or make a woman feel some type of way because they're hurt and you know hurt people hurt people but i'm like don't treat me like that because you feel some type of way that i didn't want to be with you at least i was open and honest i wasn't messing around with your head i didn't try to play you i didn't talk down on you any of that but you felt the need to do that because you're upset then he's like oh i don't care i don't care seems like you care and it seems like you're a big mad because you didn't have any of these feelings about me until i clarified that i didn't want anything to, with you and now all of a sudden you feel some type of way like you gonna miss me with all of that like and i'm done talking to you because clearly you're a child you do not know how to express your emotions and like you want some little kid stuff like i don't have time for that i'm a grown behind woman like miss me so i just you know I just thought that I would throw that out there because I'm just like, yo, like this boy really tried to come at me and then going to try to like tell me what I am and what I'm not like he knows anything about me. Thank God I love myself and I don't need validation from a man to tell me who I am. But I'm just like the simple fact that you really tried to throw shade like I was supposed to be like, oh, like explain myself to you. I don't have to explain nothing to you. And it's obvious you're just upset that I don't want to be with you. But that's fine that's fine like that's fine just own that don't try to bring down somebody else because i never brought you down and i never threw your name in the mud or ever spoke bad about you so it's like why are you trying to do that because you're mad that i called you out on something that like i guess you thought i wasn't going to <laughs> i'm sorry but you got me at that i'm in the hood i'm making a quick stop to the liquor store because i just feel like you can't pull up to somebody's event without bringing something even though just drop my keys even though she said I didn't have to bring anything, I just feel like it's ghetto. So I'm going to just grab like a couple wine coolers or something like that for us to have. I got Twisted Teas. I really got stuff that I'm going to drink. And I love, 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 love Angry Orchards. So I got those. I would have recorded um, in the store. But if y'all ever been to a hood spot, it ain't that much room. They got liquor behind the counter, behind the people. I went ahead and people all up in the camera like looking at me like, what are you doing? Like... So, yeah, <laughs> I just showed y'all what I got. Now I'm finally on my way to Siani House, which is around the corner from the liquor store I'm at because I had picked a liquor store that was literally right by her house. So I wasn't too late because I'm already like two hours late now. Trash. Oh. We taking these shots or no, y'all? Because right now, it's just me and it. Oh, that's my song. You need me to get that together so we can get together. A daddy, a real life daddy, a sexy mama. <laughs> Push my big head brother out. Uh -huh. I still appreciate it. You adopted. Yeah. Yeah. He's handsome. I thought you were going to fart. Now, kiss the cheek. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I need that. 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 What's new? Sorry, but just that doing. So, so remember that. No, 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 no. 